but it was never an issue until COVID. And it's when COVID happened, that's when our kids are like, wow, we really miss people and social and kids and yeah, like everyone the, else in the world though, right? Yeah, it's not well, just that, us. Well, well, that's it. Like we, when we left, we've obviously had that question a lot, but we never saw it as an issue because we're like, we're very social people. But it was, it's just, and, and it's like everywhere, the COVID situation just created that, that lack of connectedness. Yeah. And you know, you go to a park, even if like, you're, you're in, in a Spanish park and you see kids. Well, everyone has masks. You can't see a smile. Don't talk to them. Don't touch them. Don't, you don't make eye contact the way that you did before. So all those social approachable skills that you, yeah. you have, yeah. well, they're, they're, they're just not there anymore. Being a full-time traveler during the last 18 months has been interesting to say the least. There hasn't been a lot of travel and human interaction for long periods of time was virtually non-existent. Oh, how I remember the days when this channel is filled with boats, pleasure craft going around. Now it's filled with cops saying, don't you leave your berth. But during the quiet times, we had each other. What is your plan for these eggs, Laro? We're just going to let them sit? They're going to become crew now? Yep, crew. And the occasional boat technician, as well as the guys at the chandlery, and let's not forget our dear instructor, Brad. I don't know if we brought him back a second time because we still had a lot to learn or because we were just plain lonely. Either way, we endured the silence and finally found our way off the dock. How's it going, Will? Not good. You can't say any profanity on here. This is a family channel. I know. Now that we are in the Balearic Islands, it's time to give our kids something that they have been craving for a long time, community. Join us as we make our way to Ibiza and find ourselves not just with other cruisers in amazing anchorages, but also with tons of full-time boat kids. Thank you so much to our patrons whose support make these episodes possible. How slimy do you think that thing is after being in the water for two weeks? Is it slimy? It's coming off. I'm very slimy. So today we are leaving our very nice and posh and very um, convenient anchorage here in Santa Fonsa, Mallorca, and we're heading off across the bay, across, I don't know what to call it, we're going 54 miles, nautical miles to Ibiza. We're supposed to go into San Miguel, uh, where they have some really cool like drum circle stuff happening every night. It's nine in the morning. We have to be there by eight o'clock at night. So we gotta get out of here. It's got to be light winds. Not much of a sail today. Bye, Claus family. <laughs> I hope our paths cross again. officially will. I'm totally annoyed that we're motorcycling the whole way. Head to wind. Um, seven knots of wind. We're going six knots and it's uneventful. I guess that's better than over eventful, right? So I've been at the helm here for four hours. We're going to do two hour shifts, two on, two off, but Everyone's happy with what they're doing, and I know that if I go down and underneath and start working, I'm going to get sick. It's a beautiful day, so I'm hanging out here listening to my podcast. I've hung out with Avalon. We've done some Hamilton singing. And no, don't, don't change the subject, because you're my favorite subject. Contemplating life, all that good stuff. It is really nice just to sometimes have the mind just be quiet watching out for other boats because it seems a lot of them here either don't have AIS or they're not putting their AIS, AIS on. So I have to be really aware. There's a lot of motor boats going back pretty fast and there's a couple ferries. So it's kind of kind of like this, you know, just making sure things are okay. Will has decided that he is going to be the first person to take a shower underway. Hmm. I don't know. I'll let you know how it goes. So while we're underway, I am taking this opportunity to try out our shower for the first time. You would ask, why would you use the shower 
for the first time while you're underway, it sounds kind of stupid. It does. But the problem is that we've been always using the outside shower every single time that we want to go ahead and bathe ourselves. And it hasn't happened in, in almost like a week. And you hear that other sound in the background? The That's our water maker going off. It's not the swiftest of water makers, but it makes enough so that we can perhaps have a shower while we're going about. So I am now setting up this netting this this uh, curtain because I don't want water to go all over the place and we're gonna see how it winds up I just don't want water to go everywhere how's the shower underway going it's not bad you just can't let the water run the entire time it's kind of hard to hear you with the engine going you said it's not bad no, I open the door Open the door so we can hear you. Can you open, can you turn on the, the pump, the, you, the shower pump? The shower pump? Yeah. Okay, how's it going? It's going okay, I put up the... You put up the shower curtain? I did. Alright, alright, have fun. Thank you. Quick shower. Thank you. Largo, so how's Century's first passage? Um, it's been going surprisingly well. I fell asleep for about an hour and according to Avalon, Kitty was licking my hand and, because it fell off the couch. Which, I mean, seems like Kitty's fine. Does Kitty like Baby Yoda? I am not sleeping in the vicinity of that cat who likes to lick your hand while you're unconscious. <laughs> Ever. And there she is right there. Yeah, you're a cute cat, huh? I know. You, you're, you just lays around on the floor, don't you? So with about an hour left in... This, this, this is how I, I, I manage my hair after showers. But This is what happens after you've been motor sailing for 10 hours. You start to go wind blow. loony. It's awesome. With about an hour left before we get to our anchorage in San Miguel in Ibiza, we realized that there is going to be like a pop-up community of boat kids. <laughs> like like all, all out of nowhere. When we actually got back into cell phone service, we saw five messages from five different boats saying, we're all converging on this one area. Let's have some fun. And how this came about was, there was someone looking for boat kits that are gonna be in the Balearics this summer. A Facebook group was started, and now I think there's like 40 members in it. And we're all connecting when we're in different areas. So our last anchorage, there were about five? About five around there. Five or six there. boat kit families. And now to this one, we're probably gonna have about the same number, which is, really cool especially after all these boat kids have been locked down in covid for a long time they're just going crazy to hang out with other kids which is really cool it ain't over till it's over. let's make it count and move things over. although my heart will be broken let's go up with one big woohoo when all was right. the last time you and i went to a drum circle we are so excited for this. We are now going with three other families, two other families, three including us, to a drum circle. And where we go, where's it at? Bora Bora. I don't know, something I, with a B. It's got a really cool name, and it's got a really cool drum circle. Watch it be like a big just hoax, and it's, it's, it's like a tourist really. trap, but I'm well, pretty excited I anyway. Used, I used to go to the drum circle like every weekend in Venice, California, when I lived in California, so I hope this compares. I'm gonna go back to my roots. We're going to authentic Spanish Ibiza drum circle. You guys ready? Come on, sir. Just taking everything for the day. What would you call this? Modern day co-living? <laughs> this could be modern day co-living. Yeah, I think so. It's boat co-living? Maybe? I don't know. Lago, you're now officially the oldest one of these. I can give my wisdom. <laughs> What will you teach them, Largo? Do you have wisdom to share? Because I could use some. How do, how do you drive a dinghy? Yes. All right, are we ready? Yes. Do not go crazy. Okay. You're standing by that window Playing your guitar And if I close my eyes I can almost hear your song Picture of you. Picture of you. And 
so ladies and gentlemen, welcome to what looks like to be the world's biggest drum circle that we've, we've ever seen. I have to put that disclaimer there. This thing's massive. Everyone here is gonna be hanging out for the sunset. And then after the sunset, which is magical, it's right over there, uh, it's drum time. Look at that, door to door service. Exactly. All right. Yes. Vineras Beach is an incredible sight with a perfectly west-facing beach which makes every day a magical sunset celebration. The other unique aspect of this place is how free everyone feels here. Let's just say that there was portions of the beach where we would have to blur out over half of the screen in order to meet YouTube standards. I think you know what I mean. I'm ready to draw. But without a doubt, this place is a must see if you are in Ibiza. And in our group, we had kids ranging in age from seven to 17 from Australia, France, and the United States. As much as this is not a place where you would normally take a seven-year-old back home in a stationary life, when you're part of a cruising family, this is part of the learning process. So Aaron, how many kid boats are you going to find this year? I'm hoping that someone's going to go to Tunisia. Because knowing our life cycle, we'll find that they'll all like, find their best buddies. So right, and then leave, and then everyone's yeah. going your direction. Yeah. There's a lot of people that are crossing, because they couldn't cross last year. So you guys are planning on staying in the Med for a while? Or what's your plan? Or do you not have a plan? I think we one more plan. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we sold our house, so we don't got nowhere to go home. Right? So we're like, we're all in. <laughs> This is your home now. Yeah. Good morning. Welcome to Abisa. This is gorgeous. Honestly, I, when we bought the boat, we didn't have any idea of the place we'd be anchoring. You saw videos of places that looked relatively amazing. I think this is one of those places. Uh, I had no idea even where Ibiza was. I'd heard people talk about it. I just thought it was like this massive place where people did wild, crazy things and hung out and did well, silly adolescent stuff. We did wild and crazy things last we night. Sure so. Did. <laughs> One of the other things is that when we arrived yesterday, we just like raced in because we had to make it to the jump circle. And so we were trying to figure out where to anchor. And it's pretty deep here. This is our deepest anchorage yet. It's like 10 meters. And so we had to drop off 40 meters of chain. And what we're seeing is just like, I'm checking because we were dragging, we were not dragging. It was kind of like, like a race in the finish. And so after I just took my shower, I had to jump right in. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm like, oh. Well, there goes that shower. You had to check the anchor, but it was fine, right? I mean... Yeah, yeah, we're good. We're, we're, we're definitely good. Uh, and plus, it's really calm and quiet here, so I think it's going to be awesome. It's going to be great to have this big kid boat up this weekend. Right? The kid boat there behind you. There's another kid boat over there. Uh -huh. There's another kid boat over there, I believe. I'm looking yep. forward to it. And, and the kids are really excited. So uh, tonight's going to be like a big party. Being a family with kids on board a boat is not much different than land. During the school year, there's a bit of a schedule and the kids wake up in line with their goals. But during the summer, this is the time to sleep in and enjoy the gentle rocking that the anchorage provides. Good morning, Largo. <gasps> Good morning, Sentry. Mm. How'd you guys sleep last night? We slept well. Yeah? Is she just hanging out with you? Yep. She slept, she slept in that corner on the back of my bed the entire night. Is she taking to her new name, Sentry? I don't know. <laughs> Sentry? Sentry? How was it last night with all the other kids? 
They were fun. They were really fun. I missed kids. Yeah. I miss, you know, I miss other adults to hang out with too. <laughs> and as the kids wake up, they slowly get into their summer routines while the parents keep up with their work routines. Although routines on a boat definitely come with a better view. Hey, Dad, is someone editing with you? I have like a partner in crime. You're just the cutest little cat in the world, aren't you? You just want to sit here and just give love all day? Or you just want to get pet? Either or. If you want to give, I'm going to take. Mom, he's taking your cat. That's my cat. It's a cute cat. It's a, cute cat. It's a really cute cat. But as our day turns into late morning, the activity on the other kid boats starts to come alive. It's almost like a primal signal to each other indicating that getting together is not just desired, but necessary. What's going on, Largo? I'm getting the cat to run into a circle. <laughs> it's very entertaining, huh, Largo? Yeah. Largo, yeah. <laughs> is this your favorite thing to do on a Saturday? And for a moment, without hesitation, all of the kids unite, as do the parents who don't have boat maintenance on a Saturday. You're a good dad. <laughs> yeah. I think we're gonna let them the boat for tonight. And we're gonna come on yours. That's a good idea. <laughs> and we bask in the glory that is being in a perfect anchorage in Ibiza in the heart of the summer. Now, Laurent, you have to put them to work. Yeah. And this is the glory that is kids. You just put them together and magic happens. It doesn't matter where they're from or what language they speak. If they want to play, they'll play. It makes you wonder where all of the badness around this earth comes from. You see, in our experience, we've rarely seen a gathering of kids where things get ugly. But as the kids grow up and start to filter in the judgments and opinions of the society around them, then things get complicated. The beautiful part about cruising is that we are all here for the same reason, to break cycles and create something better. Because at the end of the day, this world is getting smaller and smaller with every innovation. And as far as what we're doing to make sure that sort of we all get enough sort of adult time, kid time, play time, <laughs> is that we are now going ahead and getting everyone together. Am I backlit? It's oh, hard to tell. So we are entertaining tonight, and this is, we're getting everyone together it's on fun. our boat. We and we the, love entertaining, and it's been a long time, so, oops. We don't have the biggest boat. We don't have the smallest boat. We just have a boat. We've got mango yeah. chutney and papa dums that I bought months ago, and you just cook them, and they're really lovely. I'm super excited about that. We have two charcuterie, I can never pronounce them, boards. Charcuterie. Say it again. Charcuterie. Okay, anyway, boards up here, um, for one for the adults, one for the kids. We've got feta artichoke dip in the oven. We've got some fruit. We've got, of course, Americans. We got our ranch dressing that we're gonna share, our coveted ranch dressing that we're, dressing that we're gonna share with everyone. And everyone's bringing a snack, so share. So, I'm very excited. And this is just essentially a good occasion to get everyone together so that we can share a meal, we can share a snack, share a drink, share stories. And the kids, I think, are totally into like, just like getting creative. I think there's gonna be some board games involved. Where do you want us? Anywhere you fit. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's fine, that's fine. Um, I know we're all sweaty. Oh, uh, and I shower. Can you watch yourself? Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm I'm fine. Fine. <laughs> 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 okay, so for the game, we have many options. First, Uno. Who wants to play Uno? Since most board games are the same worldwide, except for the cards, which are in different languages, it's not hard for everyone to keep up. And since Largo and I both speak French and English, we made it work seamlessly. Any color, but they have to be the same colors. You can put two blues, two reds, two oranges, and that counts for all the gray runs. Well, are you the translator for all the different games? Yes. Theory? I'm not actually playing, I'm just here to explain the game. What languages do we have here? French and English, and a couple others, but all spoken by me. But there are a few things that are 100% universal. Can we have the chocolate cake again? Again. Yes, you may. Yay, both kids win! So we have four liveaboard families, all ranging from different ages for kids. All right, so so what is the biggest limitation or issue with raising kids on a boat? Friends. Let the games begin. Friends. All right, we've got some of the kids weighing in over here. Yeah, exactly. 
Homeschooling. Yeah, Homeschooling for me. Private time to have se um. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the rocket. Okay, is that the kind of answer you're looking for? <laughs> Why do you think we were 45 minutes late? Right. Yeah, you sent the kids over here. You're no dummy. Oh, see, they've been doing this long with their teachers. Yeah. Yeah. That's it, friends. Yeah. 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 I miss my friends. Yeah. yeah, and I think it's hard. It's hard. Like, it's good I think, to have people your age to like hang out. Yeah, and I think like we. So I already knew Aaron, but the, we all met through the Balearic Kid Kid Facebook group, which I think you kind of initiated, right? Did yeah. you initiate? Yeah, we met on Anchor. We met on Anchor. We met because uh, I I saw that you guys had kids. I have kids and tennis. Right? <laughs> so I swim over, small talk, and then you kind of connect. And then she yeah. said, can you watch my kids? I'll be back in nine minutes. Yeah. <laughs> and we were nine like, minutes. yeah, we know. Oh, wait, incredible. wait. And now, now it's easier because it's it's more of a touristy season. Like there's more people. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas in January in the winter, there wasn't that many people around during yeah. COVID time. Yeah. That's an interesting topic though, because people, I mean, we get asked that a lot about yeah. the social, well, and the social only age, been an issue yeah. since COVID for, yeah. for us. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's only been an issue since COVID. Before then, we even had points before then where the kids are like, we need a social break. So what is the best part about having, raising kids on a boat that you would say, besides like the typical like social yeah, yeah, media stuff, because they have freedom yeah. and they have individuality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So what, what, is, what, what do you think, what is the best part? I was just saying, I reckon one of the best parts is that you can show your kids how to deal with different situations in real life. So we've had times where um, we rescued a boat that was stranded on the rocks. You know, we we're all a bit scared, but we got in there, and you know, they could see Dad. I'm, you know, dealing with my own sort of fears and my own sort of um, problems, and they can see, all right, well, Mum and Dad are, are dealing with uh, something's jammed or something's not working, and we're all getting a bit scared, but. Yeah, we talk it through and you we meet her. new people we don't know. We see a, something in a culture we don't understand or is not normal for us. And they can see yeah. our reaction and then they learn that, all right, well, that's how we deal with that. We've yeah, seen yes. something that we don't really, we're feeling a bit funny inside. It's like, oh, I'm not sure about this. But mum and dad are cool about they're it. Calm. And they're yeah. calm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, and I think they learn, I think that's something that kids probably don't get as much. Mm, getting to be children without any other outside influences. Our kids have become literally different people yeah. out here than compared to back home with influences of kids at school and yeah. bullying and yes. trying to fit yeah. in and... So many pressures. Yeah. There are so many and, pressures. And, and for kids. Yeah, and no. just like today coming right. over, Oceana's like, oh, I'm going to make some cupcakes. Yeah, she's seven years old. Right, I'm gonna make cupcakes to bring awesome. over to our friends. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I don't know if this is, you know, how normal it is, or uh, you I'm know, what I think. Them at four. <laughs> <laughs> no one. Well, yeah. I'm joking. I mean, like, yes, but my <laughs> kids were talking at six months. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, we had a great evening and a great weekend and a great rest of the week. And even several weeks later, we're still buddy boating with some of the amazing families we connected with over the weekend. Alan's going for her first beauty salon appointment on a dinghy. <laughs> She's gonna get her hair done. Alan, you realize once you go in the water, it's kind of all for nothing. <laughs> Living on a boat is not just a life, but a lifestyle made up with those willing to take a leap into the unknown and state out loud that life will be different from this day forward. We are 1000% grateful to have our boat and appreciative for all who share this cruising community that we are now part of. This is. I think I'm, I'm tired. I'm gonna go to jail for a bit. Oh, no, 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 Seven. No, 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 All right, kid boat meetups. Thumbs in, thumbs up. Thumbs in, thumbs up. Okay, thumbs here's up. the great, the best part about the kids boats. It's awesome. They get to meet up with kid boats. But guess what we get to do? We get to deal with tired and angry and cranky kids. <laughs> That's what we get to do. That bad. <laughs> he means afterwards. I think way. what I was going towards was we get to meet up with other adult. Boats. Boats. <laughs> Tired, <laughs> angry, grumpy adults. <laughs> <laughs> we had a great time. Did you guys love it? Yeah. Yeah. It, it was, was amazing. amazing. Nice to see people again after like six to nine months of no people. Right? Because when we promised you this boat life, we're like, there are going to be tons of kids out on boats. Yeah, I was like, and boat then... kids everywhere. It's like, nope, there are boat kids nowhere. It's going to be raining boat kids. <laughs> <laughs> this was our first experience with like sundowners, yeah. which was actually kind I of think, interesting. I think in here they call aperitif, right? Yeah, right, right. <laughs> and um, we're in the mud. 
in our first taste of like cruising sort of community life. Which yeah, is, yeah. Which is it's really wonderful. Cool. I think we all really liked it, right? Yeah, it was really fun. Now it's time for a nap. Ellen's ready for a nap. I'm ready for a nap. All right, guys, thank you for watching. See you next time. Like, subscribe, Comment, notifications, notifications uh, share. Join Patreon. Bye. Uh, good human beings and goodbye. I see both ladies going overboard. <laughs> I'm here to protect the ding eagle. Everyone goes. I'm the muscle. Oh no, my god. No, don't do that. Don't do that. You're going to freak the cat out. No, 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 no. no, 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 no she's like crawling here, like, help me, mommy. Ready? All right. Have you had enough tonight? I'm tired. Go! Go! She's like, oh, I'm not supposed to let it go in there? Oh, man. Just let me a bite of it. She, you know, she's what we call in the sports world a ball hog. Is that going to go on YouTube? Um, for you? Me. <laughs> How do you like your new fan? I love it. It fits it. everywhere, doesn't it? I love it. It's a USB rechargeable, too. Do you want to turn on the mister, too? No, I'm okay. I'll save that later with my, my parents.